The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. I wanted to bring up this chart here from our good friend Mike over in um, uh, Poland. I don't. I think he lives in Krakow, but I'm not sure. But Mike, it's good to send this chart to us. This is our trade of the day, folks. We were looking to buy the wheat. Uh, it rallied 20 cents off the bottom. One slight problem. I put the order in to buy it at 5.92 and a half. And it got to 593 and a half. So by this $25, we left $1,200 on the table. But they made it up to us, by the way. I had a stop in on the S&P at 45.39 and lost 10 points on that. I was 545.40. And then, of course, we lost 500 bucks in the uh, crude oil today. But we made it back, folks. Uh, those of you that follow the teachings that we try to do here at TFNN, we watch something called the 382. That is really a good indicator of a trend change. And we had that going on today uh, in the stock market. I'm going to bring it up here so you'll be able to see it. Uh, it the Dow Jones today started as the weakest, and uh, it certainly had a you know a weak move here, but you'll be able to see here. There's what happened. There was your 382 after the big break right here. And then, boom, down she went, and it completed the pattern down here, making it back both losses today. So it ended up being a scratch day, and at the end of the day here, we're going to move it. But the, the crude oil is the one that I wanted to talk to you about, folks, because my specialty is looking at these markets intraday, and I'm, sometimes I'm better at it than I think I am, but uh, sometimes I get it absolutely right. This time, we sold the crude oil this morning. And uh, it was a beautiful 61% retracement there at 82.15. It backed off to 81.95 and then uh, immediately stopped us out. We lost our uh, 50 points on that. But let me show you what happened to the crude oil. Just looking at the ABCDs uh, on the day, I want to get this up here. This is why I do those uh, day trading things because on days like this, you get to pick the pockets of some people. Didn't get all of it, but you know you get a little piece here, a little piece there. Pretty soon it adds up. But look at this uh, beautiful three drive pattern that we had right here. There's drive one, drive two, drive three. It's a perfect A, B, C, D stopping exactly at the 1.618 level and is kind enough to stay there for 15 minutes. And then it breaks down, and what does it do? It rallies all the way up to the 3A2 and drops another $400. So that's the advantage of the work that was done by um, Benoit Mandelbrot and Fractals. That pattern, that ABCD pattern that you're seeing right here, that's the why everything works the way that it does. Does it work that way all the time? Heavens no. But I missed one here. Look at this. There was a there was an A leg here. There was a B leg here, a C leg here, right at a 61% retracement, and then boom, there it went. You had double double reasoning up here to do it. You had a 1.618, two ABCDs. Can't ask for anything more than that. Turned out to be okay. They don't always work, but you know, like I said, you're going to be right about two out of three times, and not many golfers, you know, uh, do that well. So who knows? And there's Mike from uh, my, Niagara Falls. Uh, Mike, you, you live in Poland now, don't don't you, buddy? Yeah, I do, but see, um, I, I I like to keep it a mystery. How's that? <laughs> so I don't know where you are, but we're glad to hear from okay. you. <laughs> Thank you yeah, for the week chart. Phone, Very good. So I, I save a lot of money on uh, on long distance. Sure. Um, I'm following that December wheat trade, and yes. I'm paper trading it right now. I'm in at five ninety nine. Okay. Okay. That's about. I got in two two minutes. I got basically in 20 minutes after 8.30, so around 10 to 9. Okay. I got in. Okay. Well, that's a nice and, run for you. Uh, what's your upside? 
Oh, I don't know. This is just the first day, and if it's right, you can yeah. see this was this had to be short covering because you made new contract lows, and then all of a sudden the market reversed. So that causes people to come in to go short covering. And what you don't want to do is you don't want it to close at a loss at any time. So make sure you have your stop at the break-even point. Yeah. Don't okay. don't ever now, let it go yeah, back that far. I look at pattern, price, and time. So explain how you how you target the five ninety two and a half. <laughs> it's very simple. All I did was I went over the last six days of trading. I, I measured those six days from the low to the high, and I measured it by 1.618, and that number came in at uh, 591. So I shaded it by a penny. I should have shaded it by two pennies, and uh, then that's where I got the number for it. But the fact that uh, you know what that was happened to be the low of the day, you know, well. So that turned out to be pretty good. That's all I did, and I did, it was a daily chart too. I was it was not something that I was uh, looking at intraday. I I done that at 1:30 in the morning when I sent it out. Said you mm -hmm. got to take a look at this today, and that turned out that we had corn down and beans down, and wheat had a 23 cent rally. So it's just mm -hmm. a pattern. That's all it is. So how about this? How about taking your measurements right, and then making sure you get filled, and, and just add like two or three cents. <laughs> That way you get filled. <laughs> yeah, I, I you can do that very easily. But you know, when you have people following you, you try to be yeah. a little bit more accurate than that. And sometimes you like today, I got stopped out of the high tick in the S and P. I'm watching it, so when I can see that happening right after report, it hits the stops. I went right back in at uh, 37, okay. so and so. But anyway, that whole, that's all I'm looking at maybe, right now. Just maybe somebody in the pits following you. No, maybe some market no, maker no, in the pits no, are following no, you. No. And, and Mike, they're basically trying to no, well, basically. No, no, listen to me, Mike. Listen to me. I watch charts, not all the time, but most of the time. And I can tell you because I put in a lot of orders. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not just saying that I put in orders. I put in orders. And I can tell you these orders that you put in, they are religious. And I don't care. You can get within a quarter cent, one cent. It, it won't hit you. I had one last night in gold within 10 cents. Of my stop, they didn't fill me. So you don't have to worry about that. That's the reason I went to okay. Chicago in 1983, 1882 to find out if it was fair. Now it's electronic. They can't screw with that. But to me, you know, when I'm when I when I trade and lose money on the Nasdaq, I feel that there's an invisible well, hand, like there's someone no. there controlling no. this market. No, first of all, the Nasdaq is like the witch of the wicked wicked witch of the West. That thing is very, very uh, not insane, but it's it's like the pork bellies of uh, of the financials, it, and it's you know it's just very wild. Okay, so I don't like to trade it very much. Now, when it gets quiet, sure, I'll come and take a look at it. But most of the time, if you trade the S and P or the Russell or the Dow Jones, you're going to be okay. And even the Dow Jones yesterday after the close, Mike. The Dow Jones rallied 140 points after the market closed in New York at 4 o'clock. The futures market was still open, and the, the Dow Jones went up 140 points. Yeah, that's so, because of the earnings. That's because of uh, uh, Salesforce. Uh, well, is that on the Dow? Is that in the Dow? Okay, it's a component of the Dow Jones. Well, see, I, I wasn't aware of that, so that's probably the reason behind it anyway. So, hey, just remember, these markets are very fair. Just the fact that the NASDAQ is a little squirrely, uh, I don't trade that. So, okay? We'll be right back, folks. Thanks, Mike, for calling in. Appreciate it. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. NN.com. Call now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Okay, folks, stay with me here. I've got to show, bring you another chart here. Today, I, I, I talk about this 382 pattern so often that I, you know, I'd like to bring it to your attention because, you know, if you pay attention to it, it'll sometimes uh, give you some pretty good ideas of what you want to be doing. Now, if we take a look at this chart that I'm going to bring up next, and it is uh, something we haven't seen in quite a while, but it's had a heck of a move here, and this is natural gas as we get ready to take a look at this. This is just a... Uh, 13-minute chart, folks, over the last few days. But look at the low uh, that we made on the week just a few, just last week, I'm just, just excuse me, three days ago. Look at that, right at the 382, hit it and stayed there, stayed there for a good half an hour and then exploded to go up into new high grounds. That That's why, you know, if you're trading these really wild markets like we've got going here right now, it's important that you pay attention to that because it'll give you some really good ideas of what you're looking at as you're going through watching some of these uh, markets unfold the way that they do. And, uh, you know, they don't always do what you want them to do, but when they do, you know, they're very, very exciting. Today's a little frustrating when the people that I listen to me, I miss one, miss one order and get two others, but that's the name of the game, folks. Someday it's chicken salad, someday it isn't. But here's the main chart you want to pay close attention to, folks. This is a 60-minute chart here on the uh, – S&PX, which is the cash S&P, not the futures. And you're going to see a little question mark on this uh, thing right here, and you'll be able to get up here and take a look at it in just a second here. This comes from our good friend, Mr. AS, over in uh, uh, UK. You'll notice here that we make this beautiful, beautiful ABCD pattern up into this area right here, right where the question mark was. And, of course, we've had a sell-off. Not a lot. You know, we came down from what, uh, 45.40 down to 45.15, 25 handles. You know, that's nothing in the S&P. Boys and girls, 
Let's talk just one tiny little bit about something personal. If you know anybody that is going to go to London, if you're here in the United States and you're going to be going to London or any place in England sometime in the next 30 days, please call me. I have to deliver a book and I don't want to send it by mail. And I'd rather let you take it in the luggage and I will be happy to pay for you. But uh, the guy will pick it up wherever you are in the UK. But uh, that's the way I'd like to do it. So my phone number is 87, whoop, that's the CFN number, 520-241-5793. It's 520-241-5793. If you are going to the UK, preferably London, within the next 30 days or so, uh, please let me know. I'll send you it, and you can get deliver it, and uh, I'll make it make it worth your while. And I, I'm not, I'm, I don't want to use the post office because I don't trust them. And the second thing is, is they want to charge me to send a little book, seventy-eight dollars. Can you believe that? Seventy-eight dollars for a book that weighs nine ounces. Oh, I tell you, it just really scares me when I hear stuff like that going on. You know, that's what we're really watching here as we see some of these things unfold. Now, we're having a pretty good rally going here. We're rallying about 11 points here in the S&P, so far off of that bottom. But today's a really important day cycle-wise, folks. This uh, double full moon, the blue moon that we have is very important. Not only, it's called a super full moon for a reason. We got the moon as close to the Earth as it can be. That's perigee. So we want to watch that also. So it's a, usually a big thing. They don't happen often. You go back and look at your charts, and usually within a day or two, you're going to hit those you know, pretty close to uh, right on the money. The interesting one today was that the tremendous move that we had in uh, in the crude oil complex, folks. We started the, the day at 79.10. We ran all the way up to uh, 83. I believe the high was 83.70 or something like that. Let me, yeah, I believe that was. No, not quite. It was 83.40. 83.28 was a high. 83.28 was a high. So it rallied $4,000 overnight. And now we're back to 83, believe it or not. This is just amazing. We had that 382 pattern. Well, let's just draw this up since we're looking at kicks and giggles here. Boy, this is really wild action. you got to love this. We're right at the old 78.6 right now here in the crude oil. So let's get this drawn in for the folks to see it. And if I were a betting man, which I'm not, I'd be looking. Let's see if we can get this little puppy up to show the folks what it looks like. And you'll see that's I'm just looking at a four minute chart and please hit the button. And it did. There it is right there. There was your three, eight, two. This was a five hundred dollar move down. And here's where we are right now. I just sold it right there. Just a little tiny bit above below that low. And I put my stop right above the high. I'm risking 30 pips. That's all I'm risking. So that's what I'm watching. I want to see this little black thing start coming down. And I have my stop right here. Once I get. Uh, you know, a 30-point cushion. If I get one, then what I'll do is I'll put my stop at break even and let her rip to see what uh, see what it's going. The only there's two negatives about this. One, I'm way above the opening price late in the day, but the good part is is my risk is controlled. I'm really right at a really really uh, close level here for uh, putting the trade on. If I were to do that, which I did, and I I, don't, I know I have to risk just $300, and I. I made a nice piece of change on this one here, so I've got a couple of bucks to spare on this. So that's that's what I'm doing as I'm looking at because these patterns happen all day long on all kinds of different things. Okay, so what we're trying to do now is just to find the ones that uh, that are relatively easy to work. This is an easy one because I have a controlled risk. That's what the whole thing is about. Now, if this were going straight up and I didn't have anything else, then that, then I'd say, uh-oh, then there's some trouble involved. But uh, And it might not work. And believe me, I have a lot of them that don't work. So, But what I do is I just keep looking and keep digging because eventually, you know, you're going to find that uh, what they call the little blind squirrel finds an acorn every once in a while. That's how he feeds himself. So that's what I'm doing as I'm watching this particular trade unfold here. So right now I'm underwater by about uh, 10 points, and I got my stop about 20 points above that high. And if they get me, I will say goodbye because I had a nice run on the downside. Didn't get all of it, but I got a, ni a nice piece of it. So I'm willing to give back some of it if I if I happen to be uh, if I lose on this trade. So those are the ones that I'm paying very 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 close attention to. And I just are really close to getting stopped out, but not yet. I'm still about 
10 pips away, and we'll see if that's going to work or not. Uh, folks, when I talk about the risk and all these stuff, that's the main thing when I'm looking at all these patterns. The ones that don't work, you know, you just get out of dodge. That's why this morning when I made the early morning video, we were – uh, just shorted the the uh, the crude oil. It worked really good for about two hundred dollars, and then the market reversed. When I sent the uh, video out, we were out one hundred and fifty dollars or fifteen pips. And so by the time they got the letter, we were already stopped out. It went up fifty pips above our our sell price, and so we uh, we stood aside. And I just just uh, took a hickey here for three hundred dollars. So I said thank you very much. That pattern has now failed in my opinion because it's gone above. The 78% level, so that's what I was risking right there. I, it's a perfect example of what I'm looking at when I'm trading. Because if I hit it right, it's going to be worth a lot of money. And if I'm wrong, now someone asked me, what is, why did you pick 30 pips? Well, I made three times that on the way down. Okay, so all I'm going to do now is I'm going to find out what I'm able to uh, recoup some of it, but I wasn't able to, so I'm willing to give some of that back, and that's the only reason I picked it. And 30 pips beyond the 786 doesn't work. Stay tuned for Michael Moore, folks. He's going to talk to us about the crude oil complex and gasoline, heating oil, and uh, natural gas. So we'll be right back, folks, with Mike Moore of Moore Analytics. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV.
Okay, we're back, folks, with Mike Moore of More Analytics. Michael, tell us what's going on with crude oil. We had 83 bucks, so we're back there again right now. Where is it going, buddy? How are you, Larry? I am uh, good. Let me, let me pull it up here for you. All right, here we go. Okay. So we have some pretty unique things going on in the market right now. Um, and, the, and the cracks and the spreads are really blowing apart. Let me pull up the crude oil here for you. So I said, uh, I don't know if everybody can see this or not, but the trade above 79.97, one's of decent strength. We'd seen $2.38 of that, and then another piece of that this morning. If you may recall, just as a sort of a backup, we'd held exhaustion here, failed below a bearish formation here, another one for over here, and then we took out this bullish formation here. And now we've also taken out this upper formation this morning, rallied, pulled right back down to it in our rallying again. Wow. <clears throat> However, interestingly, I'm just going to jump around a little bit here for a minute. Sure. The heating oil had started a bearish correction up here and then fell below a bearish formation and then another bearish formation. So in general, this is bearish while crude is bullish. That rarely happens. Um but when it does, the cracks can move enormously. So you, if you take a look at the heat crack here, the heat crack, for those of you who don't know, is the spread between the heating oil and the crude oil. And they call it a crack spread because when crude oil comes into a refinery, it goes through a machine called a cracker. And it cracks out of it the heating oil or the gasoline. But if you can see in here in the heating oil, we got bearish right below this line up here the other day. More bearish here, more bearish here. And uh, just in a matter of uh, three days, it's about a, almost almost twelve thousand dollars per contract. Meaning that if you were long the crude instead of the heat, you would have made twelve grand more to the upside. Or if you were short the heat and not the crude. And uh, let me just jump that's around a, another that's a, that's a minute. Huge amount. Permit me to. The Arbob also uh, had failed below a bearish formation then another one came back up through it so it's currently sort of bullish although it's chopping around right here but that's also why this r bob to heat spread since the heat has been so strong we, we had seen this i'd shown this in previous uh shows this big move down here and i said that we are approaching the last part of this structure and i think that that may that may now be complete but uh, even that financial difference, switching between products is just a difference of six grand in under 24 hours. Wow. Oh, is that, one other thing, one other thing I want to bring unusual up. Now, if you guys were watching this, what's that? Isn't that an unusual amount? Yes. I mean, that's why you should always pay attention to what's going on in these spreads because there is enormous profit potential in these spreads that you can be making. I mean, if you're looking at the crude oil, you might as well be looking at this anyway. It, it, it makes a, mm -hmm. a gigantic difference in your equity curve. I mean, just this move down here in the Arbob to heat, I mean, that's a matter of 13, 14 grand in just under two weeks. Wow. One, one thing I wanted to bring up, though, we was talking about this in the last show, is the Brent. If you recall, um, in the Brent, let me pull it up here. I said the trade above 82.33 projects us upward $13.90, and we've only seen $5.77 of that so far. So that was a break above a longer-term line over here. We rallied up. We got the uh, $5.70 rolled back over. But since we've taken out this bullish formation, this suggests a good likelihood of seeing more of that $13.90 i.e. it should also pull up, pull up the uh, WTI with it. Did I go through that too fast? Or? No, no, no. Repeat that, though, please. I th I'd like to, mm -hmm. I, just for my own personal, I'd like to hear that. Yeah, sure. So the, in the Brent here, it, I don't know if you can read this, but I said the trade above 82.33 projects this upward $13.90. And we had attained $5.77 of that. We're holding exhaustion here, failing a bearish formation, failing another bearish formation. But now we've taken out a bullish formation, which suggests that now we might see more of that $13.90 to the upside, especially if we take out these highs. Does that make sense? That makes sense. Yes, it sure does. Okay. Did you want to take a look at the natural gas? 
I sure do. That's been really wild today. My goodness, I I happen to be watching it. Boy, it was a wild one for sure. Before I do that, one other uh, thing. This is the DCD spread right here. And the DCD spread is the spread of the entire curve into crude oil. Um, and we have broken up back above a, a significant bearish formation here, and that's why we're seeing all the strength come in. And if we take out this upper line up in here, which comes around 609 to 611, we take that out decently, then it's going to warn of like another uh, 240 ticks to the upside, which would also mm -hmm. be quite bullish for the outrights. Okay. In other words, this spread is often an indicator of what you're going to see in the outrights as sort of a leading indicator. Not always, but um, all right. Natural gas, really been chopping around here. Uh, we have made this full structure to the downside. We got bullish on the break above here and here. And we've made a bullish correction. We held the uh, original exhaustion right in here, rolled over, and we rallied up to try to test for new highs again, rolled over a little bit also. So it's kind of hard to say right here what this is, if this is just a bullish correction against this, and then we're going to start a new bearish structure, or whether this is actually in the midst of a new bull structure to the upside. I'm kind of tending to towards the latter, but we'll have to see. Did you want to take a look at the uh, metals or the S and P's? Yeah, I'd certainly would like to. Let's do. Let's go? do that. Let's do gold and silver, and then we'll take a look at the indices. Okay. So gold, I've worn today, should have a range expansion, meaning today's range should be greater than yesterday's range. Let me pull this up here for a second. Bear with me. Oh, I just deleted it. Give me a second. Okay. Here's the gold. Just recently, I'd said that uh, we held exhaustion down below at 1915 to 191090. If you remember, we were talking about this on a couple shows ago. We held it once here, a second time here, and a third time. This was a, ma a macro exhaustion level. And we'll really see a macro move out of it. <clears throat> and then I said the trade above 19.19.10 minus two ticks per hour warned of renewed strength. We'd seen $58 of that. And then I said decent trade above 19.71.90. We'll project this up at $74. So this is a really key line, this one up above. This is um, a formation that comes down all the way from the highs. So it, it would be best if this rolls over a little bit more and then breaks up through it because that will give it even more credibility. Mm -hmm. And these I'm are the other, you know, so we held this exhaustion, broke above this bullish formation, this bullish formation, okay. and we're rallying Okay, up. Mike? Yep. Mike, when we come back from the break, uh, would you pull up a, one of those spreads as a chart so I could see it as a chart? Um, you mean the, the one that uh, you like spreads? To yeah, just pick one or two of them so that I can see what the chart looks like. A okay. line chart or a bar chart, whatever you have. Sure thing. Thank you. We'll be right back, folks. Mike Moore of More Analytics. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, talking with Mike Moore of Moore Analytics. Uh, Mark, I know, uh, Mark, Mike, I know you have your website up, and it's uh, you want to go to Moore Analytics. It's M O O R Analytics.com. If you could put up a chart, uh, Mike, Mark, of a uh, just like just what a, what a spread chart looks like. I haven't. I used to do July bean spreads, D soil, uh, July oil. I don't do spreads anymore. So, could you show me what that spread looks like so that I can do my analysis as a as a spread trader just to see what it looks like? Just pick one that and blow it up so we could take a look at it. Sure. This is. Um, can you see my screen? Yeah, you got about too many things here. Just pick one okay, so that yeah. I can see it clearly. Because well, I'm a. This is this would be an example of the heat crack. This is the spread okay. between the heating oil and the crude. Okay. Now, what over what period of time is this? This is a daily chart. So each one of these bars represents one day of price movement. Wow, that's a big move. Whatever that was, that must have been the movement in crude oil, right? Yeah. Like I said, you know this. Just on a financial perspective, I mean, just in in five days here, that's a matter of almost thirteen grand per lot. Wow. Yeah. Can you can you blow it up even more because you can? You know, there's a lot of space on there that I can't make any, any heads sure. or tails out. Can you? Hey, can you get? I hate okay. to say this. Can you get rid of the moving averages? Sure. There's, that's what I want to see. That's what I want to see right there. Yeah. Yep. That's good. Okay. Yeah. I can I can make a case for that. I can see the A B C D. That's fine. Yep. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Did you want to go back to? Yeah. Do no. Which spread was that? That was gasoline to crude or what? That was the that was the heating oil crack. So that was the that heat means to crude. Heating, heating heating oil to crude. Yep. Okay. Now is that a one to one uh, ratio? Yes, but they have multiple ratios. I mean, you can do them. They have, wow. uh, there's different ratio spreads, but this is the most common one. It's the, the straight okay. ratio. All right. Now, that being said, I wouldn't say that that is a, a straight, uh, what's the best way of putting it? I don't, I don't, I don't think that that's a, you know, volatility to volatility, um, hedge because the, the heating oil, for example, if I look at heat, my average volatility in, right, in there right now is 849 ticks. Okay, mm -hmm. so 849, 849 times 0. 0.42, 
That'll give you that amount in, in crude dollars. So it's basically moving, heating oil is basically moving $3.56 crude points a day, mm-hmm. whereas the crude oil itself is really only moving 154 ticks. Okay. All right. So I see that. Yes. They're both related, but heat's moving much harder than the crude is. Mm-hmm. Did uh, so we talked about the gold? Do, do we, do we yeah, let's talk here? about gold next, if we could, please. Okay. Yeah. So gold's been creeping up here. I think this is a bullish structure and not just a correction um, from the move down from the highs. We talked about this on the show last time. I believe we, we completed this full bull structure. This is a full bearish correction against it. And the fact that we took out 1939.20 suggests to me that there's a good likelihood that this we could be seeing a macro bullish move okay. out of here, perhaps even to the tune of this this kind of size. It's really right. a little early to tell. but And did you want to take a look at the um, S&P? Oh, absolutely. That's always a fun one, yes. Okay. So, on an overall basis, I caution that we held exhaustion up here at 46.35 and a quarter. We held that with the 46.35.50 high and rolled over 284.5 points, and that is on hold. Then the, I said the trade above 44.13 now warns a renewed strength. We'd seen 125.25 of that and a little bit more today. And then the trade above 44.6675 projects us upward 98 minimum. We'd seen 72.50 of that this morning and then just a little bit more also. And that was the break above. Okay, yeah. We had originally held exhaustion down here, then broke above this formation, hedged that with the break down below here. And then when we got back above this line, we got bullish here, bullish here, and it's still trucking to the upside. If we take out this line on the upside right here, which comes in around 45, 52 and, and a half, um, that's going to warrant a run probably for the highs, for these highs, uh, okay. which would be uh, 46, 34, 50. And if we fail back down through this line, let me just give you some numbers here. That line comes in at 44, 55, 26. If we fail below that decently, 44, 55, 26. That's minus 23 per hour. If we fail below that decently, then that's going to warrant of decent pressure, probably knock the market right back down to test these lows. Did you want to see Bitcoin? Uh, yes, sir. We had a question about that, so I'm glad you brought it up. Let's do Bitcoin. Okay. So Bitcoin, just as a little recap, I had said that the failure below 31,655 uh, with one wow. pressure, we saw 6,070 of that. And I said, I warned that this was a bearish correction. The minimum target would be 25,710. If you recall in past shows when we were trading up in here, I said that the 25,710, this target right here is what we were looking for when, when we talked to past shows and we got yep, right down there. Sure and did. Took care of that. And we also held this uh, macro exhaustion level. We held it once here, a second time here, a third time here, and multiple times here before popping up but we could not quite get a decent no. penetration above this line. Now we've rolled over. If we get a decent well, penetration back above that line, then that's going to open up the upside to higher trade again, and that line is going to come in at... Well, it's 20, been incredibly 18, volatile 18. these last couple of days, hasn't it? What's that? Incredible yeah. volatility in Bitcoin the last couple of days. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. That's why sometimes, just so you know, uh, if the viewers may be interested, when I do an analysis like this, you know, people might be wondering, like, wow, well, why does he have suggestions around all these faraway numbers that are nowhere near your um, settlement? And that's because 70 percent of your days are going to stay within one ADR. But on those other 30 percent of the days when the market moves really hard, you don't want to be sitting there with no numbers from your analyst to trade off. So, I see. So there's a lot of extra work that's done every day. That is not necessarily mm -hmm. used, but needs to be there in order to keep you on top of the market, yeah. even in hard moves. Uh, Mike, I'd like to work a little closer with you in the next couple, starting next week, maybe one or two days, maybe take a few minutes to show me one of these charts. Like I'd like to say I'm, I'm bearish on crude, I'm bullish on crude or heating oil. And then you show me the spread that might be even better. Would you do that? Sure. 
I'd Just like to see know. that because when you tell me these numbers, I mean these are these are monster numbers. You get a six thousand dollar move in crude, and you get an eighteen thousand dollar move in something else. I mean that interests me. You know, and I I know people have made a fortune trade in spreads. I I never have done it, but I do I do know how to read a chart. So I think if I can practice a little bit, I think I can get pretty good at it. Listen, tell the folks how you can reach us again, and we're going to have you on again next week. How about Thursday of next week? You want to be able to do that? Sure, that sounds great. And by the way, just uh, I don't necessarily go over it every show, but in my analysis down below, I have each of these spreads with with significant calls in each of them that people can take advantage good. of. So it's a lot more than just that's, the outrights. That's what I'd like to see. This is great. So tell the folks how to reach you, Mike. Oh, yeah. More analytics. It's M is in Mary, O-O-R, analytics. There's no E at the end of more, so it's just moreanalytics.com. All right, buddy, we'll see you next Thursday, okay? That will be the 7th of uh, September. Thank you, sir. Oh, Thank one you, last thing, the, uh, Sure. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're going to... Uh, Mike, are you still there by any chance? I thought he would hang up. Well, we'll have Mike on next Thursday. Uh, we're having a pretty volatile day across the board here. Dow down quite a bit. NASDAQ is still up. S&P still up. Russell's down. So uh, having some good move everywhere. Uh, gold sold off a little bit. Uh, so we're going to find out next support in the gold should be coming in here 
uh, over the weekend I would be would be my wildest guess but we'll have to have to wait and see uh, what happens folks tomorrow we will have Joe DiNapoli of DiNapoli levels uh, he's been working on Fibonacci stuff uh, just about as long as I have uh, when going back to 1970 when John Hill showed me gave me my first proportional divider and I went and I showed Joe what it was and we went over to the UCLA bookstore and he bought every one that was in stock and he started teaching and uh, my golly he's done a great job with it so uh, he's got some different ramifications of what we do but it's basically gets down to numbers and cycles and Fibonacci and patterns and that's what we're trying to do here is to find the ones that that work the best so Joe will be our guest I know he's politically motivated but he is not going to be talking about any politics or you're going to hear this quick little click on the buzzing sound as he moves into the sunset because we don't want to have anything to do with the political stuff I know I I said this thing about the guy in uh, Spain that got blackballed by the lady that uh, he happened to give the kiss to but you know that that's really a sad situation yes Johnny I'll shut up Anyway, Joe DiNapoli will be our guest tomorrow, and uh, we have some real exciting things because we've had a tremendous week. And with this big cycle day that we have coming in here today with this uh, double full moon, also known as the blue moon, and uh, we'll see what's going to happen. We also have a super moon because it's perigee. The moon is as close to the Earth. And remember, uh, Pythagoras knew this in 666, 663 B.C., he knew apogee and perigee of the moon and the earth and the distance between the earth and the moon. Let's take a break till tomorrow and we'll see you on the flip side and may God bless.